Hello folks, it's Gordon here, I hope all is well with you. And in this video, I wanna talk about my artwork, my paintings, and the C word. No, not crap, Christmas. Yes, because as we tick to October 2023, as I'm uh, recording this video, the shops are gonna be starting to get rammed with all the Christmas tat, even though there's three months to go and some people, or as I call them, freaks, put up their decorations at home in October. Now those people, don't get me started, those people are the kind of people who, when it gets to Boxing Day, never mind the 12 days of Christmas, the second day of Christmas, Boxing Day, they say, that's it, all decorations down, I've had enough of it now, I'm bored with it. And they put their decorations up three months early. But like I said, don't get me started on that. Now, you might be thinking, well, why, why are you talking about Christmas and yourself at this time? And it's a good question because, okay, the stuff is in the shops. Because people are starting to think about Christmas presents. Now, starting to think about Christmas presents uh, in October, there's nothing wrong with that. That's bordering on the sensible. And it could be that you could sort a present out for your friends, your family and yourself with some of my artwork. Now, since we're talking about Christmas, here's an example. That is an original, that is, that's the original painting, which is acrylic on the canvas panel board. Now these panel boards, I like them because they're nice and thin, which means that you can, you can stand them up. These are panel boards. You could just lean them against something on a desk or a shelf or you could put them in a frame if you want. So they're versatile. Yeah, acrylic, I know, when did I paint that one? Can't even remember, a couple of years ago? Yeah, two years ago, so it would have been 2021, I think I painted that one. Now my original paintings, at the moment, October 2023, I charge 75 pounds for my original paintings uh, including shipping, so free shipping globally, doesn't matter where you are, shipping is included in that price. Now the reason I do that is because I'm at the start of my journey of marketing my art, so is that too cheap for that? Probably, the art, the art artists and art, art marketing coaches would say that it's definitely too cheap, but it's upfront and it's transparent. I can't be doing with this well, see who the client is, work out how much money they've got, and then think about how much you can get away with charging. Now, if you follow me for any length of time, that's not the way I operate. I like to be upfront, open, and transparent with the price, 75 pounds. For the original, for any of my originals, if you look through my um, portfolio, <laughs> it's a fancy word, or albums of paintings, any of the originals, if they're still available, you can have for 75 pounds. But I also do prints. Now, here's a print of that Christmas one, original that I just showed you. Now the print, it just so happens, it's not easy to get square prints. I ended up liking doing square paintings, but it's not easy to get square prints. And these are 21, centimeters by 21 centimeters. So they're just over eight by eight inches, which is a bit of a pain, um, <laughs> but that's the way it is. They're on what's called soft touch card. Now I always do this. I don't know why I do it when I'm doing a video because you can't feel it. And it don't, the noise doesn't make any difference, but they got a lovely sort of silky feel, I call it, soft touch card. Um, an official print from, yeah, from me, that is. Now I do, sell 50, limited edition 50, signed prints and numbered. And they are 15 pounds, not 50, 50, no, 15, one five pounds, including free shipping wherever you are in the world. Again, that is too cheap. The art marketing coaches would say I should be selling the print for 49, 50 pounds. Never mind selling the original for 75 pounds. Should be a print should be 45, 50 pounds minimum. I'm selling these prints for 15, 50 limited edition 
signed and numbered. Now, if there's a huge demand and I get more than 50, I will sell more than 50, but A, they won't be limited edition signed and numbered. They won't be signed. They won't be numbered. And they're going to be more expensive. So you, to get the, the signed and numbered ones is cheaper. But anyway, so you could get that as part of your Christmas decorations. It's taken me a long time and I've been a bit long winded, but that was the point about me talking about doing the video this time of year with Christmas stuff in the shops, because a lot of the Christmas stuff in the shops is going to start to be decorations. Now you could put this up on the wall as part of your decorations. Here it is in a frame. So you can either have it, again, for Christmas decorations, leaning against a shelf or on a desk or something, just like that for 15 pounds, or you can have it on the wall in a frame. Again, frames can obviously lean against shelves and desks as well. I don't do the frames, which is interesting because again, the art marketing coaches will say, I could buy this frame for five pounds, this particular black frame, which I like because it doesn't mess around. It doesn't detract from the image. The, the, the focus is on the image, not the frame. I could buy this for five pounds and the art marketing coaches will say, sell it for 10 pounds. So add 10 pounds onto the price. So you're making five pounds profit on the frame. And they say, buyers don't mind. And up the postage, because it costs a lot more to post that than it does to post that. So they'll say, make profit on it all. And customers won't mind. Now, I can understand that someone might want to have that arrive in the post ready to just put on the wall. But for me to make extra profit on it, um, again, with my own mindset, that just doesn't seem right to me. So what I do is I don't sell or market the frames, but I can tell you where to get it for four or five pounds. Does that make sense? So then if you want to get one, you can get it yourself and you're paying the retail price you're not paying a profit to me on top of that for no apparent reason. Does that make sense? Oh, I hope I'm not overcomplicating it. But anyway, that, that's the way I like to do it. So instead of buying Christmas, you know, Christmas tree lights or a, a string of Christmas tree lights for 15 pounds or tinsel, you could spend 15 pounds as part of your decorations and get that to put up for Christmas as part of your decorations forever just for 15 pounds, including postage and shipping. So nothing more to pay. Or if you want to, you can get it in a frame and I'll tell you where to get this particular frame. Or you could obviously buy your own frame if you don't like that frame and you wanted a white frame or an oak frame or whatever color frame or different type frame altogether. Now, I've been talking about that Christmas painting in particular. Obviously it could be any of my paintings could be the, the abstract pattern ones, the, any of my paintings that you like, you could buy as a present for your friends, your family, or yourself. Remember, any of my original paintings, if they're still available, currently, um, the end autumn 2023, as I'm recording this video, for £75, including shipping, or print 50 limited editions, hand signed and hand numbered, for £15, including shipping. Now, any of my paintings that aren't square, they're a bit more complicated print-wise because when I first started painting, I used different size um, landscape-shaped canvases, and some of them don't convert too well to the printing sizes. So you'll have to let me know if there's one of my landscape um, paintings, landscape orientated paintings, that you wanted to, to buy a print of, get in touch and I'll sort out the sizing and all the rest of it for that. Hope that makes sense. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment below where if you had to be seeing this video. I'm not going to end this video by saying Happy Christmas because that would be ridiculous. But that time of year is approaching. So best to start thinking about it when it comes to presents slash decorations. Signing off for now. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. And I'll speak to you again soon.